Hey scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for follow a sketch February and it is day 14 I believe That is the sketch number Let me just pull it up here. Make sure that I have the right one <coughs> Excuse me tickle in my throat <coughs> Yes, so this is day 14 and happy Valentine's Day for anyone who celebrates Valentine's Day. Uh, we don't do a whole lot of for Valentine's Day. Um, and I'm not really doing, I'm doing a picture of my son, but not really per se a love themed layout. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. So I have my photo of my son and the layout or the sketch that we're using, which will show up in the beginning of the video. And I will put it in the corner of this one has sort of um it probably is a pattern paper background and then it sort of looks like it has mixed media on it i found this pattern paper it is an old pattern paper and i had here it is i had the branding strip it's from studio light um it's one i had in my stash um, and it had mixed media on both sides. So this is what one side looked like and then this is the other. <coughs> I decided to go with this because it had sort of like this geometric pattern on it that I felt kind of matched sort of the pattern that was in the sketch or had the same theme. So what I'm going to do is I have a whole bunch of pattern papers here. I'm going to back this pattern paper on this black cardstock so it will frame my layout just like this. I did also add to my background some um, Dilusions Black Marble is what it was called, it, as well as some Distress Oxide in Prized Ribbon. So if that actually, there you go, in Prized Ribbon. So I just added a few splatters to the background. So this will act as my background and then I will show you here what I'm going to do is I have this gray pattern paper as well as this sort of scribbly red. Um, they're going to layer up like this and those will be at the top of the page um, and that kind of mirrors what is in the sketch and then I'm going to take the gray as well and do one along the bottom. Um, I'm going to tear all of the edges with my papers because it kind of looks like in the sketch that the pattern papers have like a torn, excuse me, type edge. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and <clears throat> glue these um, to the top and bottom. And then for my photo, uh, I'm going to back it first with this white sort of pearlescent. I don't know if the shine shows up on camera, but I'm going to back my photo several times with the white and the red. This is going to layer in the layers as well. I'm not going to probably... Um, tear the edges of the white and the red um, mats that I do for, for my photo, but this is what I'm going to use to back my photo. So I'm going to do that off camera. And then I have these pattern papers here, and these are going to take the place of the layers that are behind the photo on the sketch. So I will be cutting these down because they're a little large in, in size right now for what the sketch calls for. Um, and then all of the edges on whether it's the side or the bottom, I haven't quite decided. Each one will have some level of a torn edge somewhere. So these are going to layer up here and I'm actually going to change it to where instead of my photos over here, my photo is going to be over here. And so I've moved sort of the sketch to be photo on this side. So <laughs> once I have that in place, I will come back and we'll start laying out um, the embellishments and what I've done with the embellishments. Um, I probably will put my title down as well, which is just going to be a sticker as well as this remember this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And when I come back, like I said, we'll do the embellishing. I have all of my layers down. My photo is down. I've kind of combined my embellishments into some clusters to put on the page. I did go ahead and take some clear stickers from Indian Summer from Pretty Little Studios. Um, I just had these clear black ones and so I just scattered those in amongst the mixed media on the background because um, I thought that just it got rid of them for one thing and <laughs> 
Uh, it just gave a little extra something to the background. So I have some other stickers on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these two that I stuck on here. Um, and then I have a sticker sheet here as well. I am going to use this Love Beyond Words down here um, on that sticker sheet, um, probably down here at the bottom. Um, but I think what I'll do is create my um, clusters first. So at this point, I've got everything down. I'm not per se following the sketch for where the clusters are. They kind of land in somewhat similar spots. Um, but at this point, I'm kind of just putting the layout together how I want to. I'm, um, I've used the sketch for inspiration, obviously, on my layers and my paper tearing. Um, but from here, I'm kind of just going to uh, play with where I want to put everything. Um, and so I'm not really um, per se going to follow the sketch. So you'll kind of see that as we go. And I had these numbers, they're like one, two, and three. I'm going to use them as cluster bases. Um, I'm not looking to use them as um, like the actual, for the actual numbers themselves. So you'll see that here as I put my clusters together. And I just have some uh, tickets. These are printables from Sketch, Stretch Sketch or something like that. Um, but um, I have printed these and cut them out. So I'm going to just build up my clusters. And then I have all these wood veneer hearts that came like in a box. I want to say they might have been Prima or they might have been from the dollar store. I'm really not even sure. Um, but I did go ahead and paint them with the Dil Dilutions Black ink. Um, and I'm going to use those where kind of like actually... Yeah, kind of like the sketch has hearts. I'm going to use the same number of hearts. Um, maybe not in the exact same places as the sketch, but I am going to put them on the layout. So I will have hearts um, on this layout as well. And then I also have these butterflies. Uh, these were actually clips from a Vicky, Vicky Booten collection. I cut off the clips and I'm just using the butterflies. Um, and then I have a paper butterfly from one of the pattern papers from a Vicky Booten collection as well that I'm also going to use. So, like I said, I have these numbers, not that I'm using it for numbers, um, but I do have them. And I'm going to put, so these three hearts that I'm putting down here would if you were following the sketch probably would have been the ones that would have mirrored being up here um, and so i will glue all of this down off camera but um, want to give you an idea of where i'm going to place everything so i'm going to have those down here this might come up ever so slightly i'm not 100 percent sure i also want to put this loved beyond words just not sure where um, but I kind of wanted this to be part of my title. And so I'm just not sure where I want to place it at this point. I was thinking maybe here. So this might actually end up here with the hearts above or below. So this will probably go under there a little bit. And then the hearts will probably move up. So all of this cluster will actually move up is kind of what I'm thinking. So you'll see when I come back exactly how that one lands. And then my third cluster, uh, I'm thinking, is going to go up here. And again, I have those tickets. So it's really just, I keep my embellishments somewhat um, similar. They don't have to be the exact same thing. In this case, they are. Um, but I'm not always looking for them to be the exact same thing. Um, I'm, most of the time, I'm just aiming for... Um, to have the same colors so they don't have to be the same elements um, but a lot of times what I try to do is aim for them to have the same color um, so that I keep consistency that way in my layouts so like I said I'm, this is the part of the sketch that I am also following I guess you could say in the fact that I have these hearts and I'm going to have the five hearts here 
So those probably will slide ever so slightly that way. And then I have that last butterfly, which may go in there, or it might be up here. We'll put it there for right now. And I think what I'm going to do is go off camera and get this glued down because if I start adding anything else or looking to add anything else, all of this is going to shift. And so I want to get it glued down first. Okay, my clusters are down and I did start adding just the final elements, which is just some of these uh, enamel dots. And I just put two sort of in each cluster. So I'm going to finish up with these dots and just place them up here at the top in my top cluster. And that just makes a little bit more of that blue pop. It's sort of like that um, little extra pop of color um, that I thought kind of worked with the background of that blue and then bringing in those blue cameras just kind of makes everything pop a little bit more on this page. So there is my take on the sketch for day 14. I'll have in the description box below a link to Sandy's Facebook where you can see all of the sketches that we're working with this month as well as get lots of inspiration. Uh, also the playlist for everyone who's playing along will be down below as well. So with that guys I will uh, catch you on the next one and still photos will be coming up in just a sec. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye.